And there we go. Alright. Time for the next world. And off we go. It appears the yellow-haired Sprixie is what we're saving here today. And we got a little bit of a desert theme here. Go ahead and head up the first level, which is aptly named Conkdor Canyon. Play as Mario for this one. Hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. Alright, first green star just like that. You can kind of see what I mean, though. It's generally a good idea to always always have a um, bell on you. I mean, it, we did get one right there, but not every level is going to be that gracious with regards to giving you the power-up you need in order to obtain a collectible of sorts. Oh, I thought I was going to get hurt there. Thank God I didn't. So what do we got up here? Another gold pipe? I'll take a gold pipe. Ooh. It's a death pit right there. Hit me up with some coins, fam. Give me all the good coins. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Nope. And we got another cat power up. Not bad. Let's push on forward here. I don't know how I feel about this part. Okay, <laughs> I got. It. I, I'm never too sure about that little part right there because I always feel like I just get completely booped on the schnoz, and that's no fun. No fun whatsoever. What do we got here? Got a random power up right there, or just a slot power up. Um. Yeah. See Captain Toad there running around. Ooh, look, there's Luigi. Yeah, it's kind of odd. This came out around the time of uh, the year of Luigi, for those that remember that. And he's kind of hidden throughout uh, the various levels you run around. I mean, I'm sure you probably have saw him in a good number of them, but... Yeah, he's just down there hanging out. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, wow. Okay. I'll just let him hit me. Ooh. <laughs> I got a little spooked there for a moment. Alright, one of these has got to have something, right? That's always how this works. Nope. Hey. Just like that. So what do we got up here? Anything? Well, we got a, got a little coin block. This was in 3D land. You can essentially run around and you'll just get coins for days. Yeah, the cat power-up is certainly quite the power-up to have, though, as you can no doubt tell. Hey, Captain Toad. Saving the day once again. Thanks, buddy. Anything up here? Nope. Sure ain't. Alright, let's wait for the perfect opportunity to strike, as they say. And there we go. Everything collected. Wonderful. It's a Mario. <laughs> All right. 27 stars. So far, so good. Ooh, that's looking a little spooky there. We got a dark theme level. You can use amiibo during your adventure. Just hold the left button and tap an amiibo to your controller or the D-pad button within a course to make something surprising happen. Check the guide section of the menu to learn more. 
you won't be able to use Amiibo when you're communicating with other Nintendo Switch systems. Keep that in mind. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really show that off. I don't really have uh, all that am many Amiibo, so... Yeah, I guess that's just a feature you won't be able to see here. But if you're curious, I'm sure there's probably videos out there detailing uh, what Amiibo do what uh, when used with Super Mario 3D World. And all right. Let's go ahead and check out this level, Shadow Play Alley. And we'll play as Luigi this time. Let's show off good old Luigi. And by show off, I mean, eh, I just want to play as Luigi. Just because why not, you know? Yeah, this is a, a very interesting little piranha plant we have here. But you, uh, you pretty much carry him around and he does all the work for you. He'll grab uh, collectibles and he'll take out enemies that are nearby. It's pretty neat. Can't complain. Oh my god, he even eats projectiles. That's... It's kind of insane. Oh, see you later, buddy. Alright. See, I thought you were gonna do something there, Piranha Plant, but you didn't do anything. You big old meanie head. I thought there was going to be something there. So the, to get the stamp, you kind of need some way to break the boxes that are there. They are boxes. They aren't, uh... Hello? Okay. That was interesting. Um, but yeah, they're either a fire flower or the cat power. We'll do the trick. And let's go ahead and do this. Come on, brown plant. You got to believe in yourself here. You know what? I'm just gonna go. Alright, so what do we got here? Beautiful. Uh, I don't want... I, I know he'll definitely try and attack you, so I think we'll just ignore him for now. At least ignore the Piranha Plant Boy for now. So we got back here. Oh, you're, sco you're scared, temp Captain Toad? I wish I could speak, oh my goodness. Bro, it's not even Bowser. Come on, now. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here. Take the door. Or we could have climbed up the building, to be honest, but hey. We're just doing whatevs. And there we go. Done with the level. Good job, Luigi. And we got the the piranha plant in a plant. Or in a... I guess a plant holder? Huh. Alright. So what do we got ahead here? Well, looks like a rolly hill. If you're playing alone, you can press down to take snapshots of your adventure. Mm, I guess it's a way to kind of prevent people uh, to essentially just spam the heck out of the snapshot button. Yeah. Let's go ahead and play as good old Peach for Puff Prod Peaks. You can play this course using touch controls. Press R or SR to make the touch cursor appear. Use it to move the rainbow colored blocks. If you're playing in handheld mode, touching the blocks on the touch screen works too. So yes, as I showed off earlier, you basically whip out the touch cursor icon with the right shoulder button, and you use that to essentially uh, do the sort of touch, uh, touch scroll, touch scroll, touch screen, uh, <laughs> basically uh, functions uh, that were once on the Wii U, because obviously they had to change some things around for the Switch, because the Switch can't really do everything that the Wii U can. With regards to uh, some of the things here, so some things did have to be altered in order for it to work as well. And those are Super Mario World enemies, interestingly enough. Got a fire flower here, so what's down here? Hello there, Stamp, and hello there, Goombas. 
Hope you like fire flowers. Very nice. Ooh boy, I thought I was gonna get chomped right there. Okay. And just like that, we are good. All right, checkpoint flag. This is also another level with very with a very pleasing aesthetic, and the music is very soothing to listen to. One of my personal favorites from Super Mario 3D World. Kind of reminds me a bit of Galaxy. Thinking about it now. Yeah, not with Let's Play Galaxy. That'll be a fun time. And these platforms here. Um, so on the Wii U version, uh, you would actually use the microphone built in on the gamepad and blow into the microphone, and you would get these platforms to move about. But here, they kind of move on their own accord. So you just kind of have to time it. Uh, with regards to the movement patterns. A good change, I think. I think this was a good change for the better. I guess another small thing would be that everyone essentially moves a bit faster in, uh... The Switch version compared to the Wii U version. I mean, I don't know if you'd be able to notice that per se. I'd have to throw up side-by-side -side footage. But... Uh... I would believe my, uh, the words in which I say, because <laughs> that is something that uh, people were finding out about, like how characters even before this game released are moving a little bit quicker than they normally did. So let's go ahead and uh, hit up these platforms here. Yeah, there's not a way to manually remove the touch cursor icon. It goes away on its own accord, though. So, come on now, there we go, there we go. Ooh, I'm doing pretty good here. Okay, I'm down there, Peach. I just wanted to get myself a running start. Oh, 69 coins, nice. And there we go. Got the top of the flagpole, got every collectible. Doing pretty good. Hello there, Goomba. Good old Goomba stamp. Alright, we got a pipe that goes down there. Remember, you can also use the touch cursor with R or SR in other courses to make interesting things happen. Yeah, it's basically a way to kind of, uh, stun enemies and, um, what is it? I guess find maybe some hidden objects in the environment. I don't personally use it all that much, but if you do, good on ya. Okay, I swear I think Nintendo's trying to tell me something with regards to the small box containing all the contents. It has to be. There's no other way around it. Alright. Let's keep pushing forward here. We got really rolling hills. And we'll play as Toad for this one. Actually, I don't think uh, if this is the level I'm thinking of, we might have to revisit it. Just gonna say no. Mirror you oddly, oddly appearing Goombas. Yep, so this is kind of a thing that's Eh, I could, you could give or take it, but there's stamps or things in which you need that are blocked off by these little push buttons. And if you're not playing as the character indicated on the button, then you can't obtain the collectible. Which uh, is kind of disheartening, but eh, I guess they had to add something, I suppose, to make it so you're playing as different characters instead of just one character the whole time. You don't see it too much, thankfully. And that if you generally have one character you like to play as, you can pretty much play as that character the whole way through. You only have to switch out for those certain instances, which, like I said, there aren't too many. Nice. Anything over here? I got a ball. I got a baseball. Got a 
eight red coin ordeal here. And another bell to add more points to because we already have already have a bell. So Yeehaw to that, I guess. Anything up here? Anything to make note of before we push on? I mean, I know we got a lot of coins, but eh. It's just coins, man. I think you can live without them. Oh, no. No. Go away, you small Goombas. Oh. Yeah, they can kind of throw you for a loop because you go in for the attack and then they're just kind of like, nah, fam. <laughs> Gotta hit you with the jukes. 